welcome to the Big Movie Mouth Off, sponsored by Big Shiny Robot. Uh, geek news, comic books, movies, lots of other stuff, games. Ooh, I like the way you're counting it down. <laughs> uh, we're here at Movie Cinema Pub to review more movies today. I'm Jeff Weiss from MSN Entertainment. And I'm Jimmy Martin with Slug Magazine. Our next movie is Love and Other Drugs, a comedy about a Viagra salesman played by Jake Gyllenhaal, who... His selfish lifestyle is sort of upset by his new girlfriend, a bohemian artist played by Anne Hathaway. She has Parkinson's disease, so her future is sort of shaky, you might say. Oh, God. <laughs> really? Hey, Lisa. Her name's not Lisa. I know, but if every time I say, hey, Lisa, she'll think that I dated a girl who looked just like her. She'll develop this unconscious need to win my approval, and from then on, it's cake. Damn. Why would you want to be a pharmaceutical rep? That pays over 100 grand a year, that's why. Hello, ladies. Hello, gorgeous. Oh, wait. Yep, there's another one. If the patient asks, you're an intern. Hi. I'm Dr. Knight. <clears throat> and who are you? Jamie Randall. Intern. Well, let's have a look. You're a drug oh, rep! You let me take my wait, shirt on you! Wait, wait, wait! Wait, okay. I apologize. Let me take you out for a cup of coffee. Strong eye contact, implied intimacy. You're good. What does this mean? Actually, this is me being nice. You have beautiful eyes. That's it? That's the best you got? This isn't about connection for you. This isn't even about sex for you. This is about finding an hour or two of relief from the pain of being you. And that's fine with me because all I want is the exact same thing. Yeah, when we walked out of it, I said this movie was perfect. But I was talking about Anne Hathaway's boobs. And Because they are perfect. And other things. The movie, a little unbalanced for me. Because yeah. you've got this movie that is actually very serious at sometimes, a, right. a melodrama right. where you almost want to start crying, and then you have just cheesy, cliched comedy that comes from Jake Gyllenhaal's brother, mm -hmm. um, where he's running around with his fat, hairy ass hanging out, and I'm just like, what? What are we watching? You, you mean the fake Jack Black? <laughs> yeah, the poor, poor man's Jack Black. Yes, not nearly as endearing. I wish this film could decide what it wants to be. It certainly can't it figure it out. It starts out as if it's going to be a raunchy Judd Apatow comedy. Yeah. And then it turns into sort of a satire about the drug industry. Mm -hmm. And then it turns into a sullen disease of the week drama. Hello? I like hearing the sound of your voice. You like hearing the sound of her voice? Were you abducted by aliens? I hear we're coming out with a new sex drug, Viagra. I want it. This is a revolution. I've already sold 2,000 prescriptions this month alone. It's hard to believe, isn't it? It's hard to believe. You must be swelling you and, But then, at the very end, it turns into every romantic comedy chase sequence I've ever seen. And if he said, you complete me, I wouldn't have been surprised. Yeah. Because it was template of his love speech. And it was so. Ugh, just... You're a good man, but you're on the fast track. Six hundred girls dying to discuss sales techniques. Can't do that with me holding you back. She rejected you. That's why you want her. I need you. I'm gonna need you. More. The writing was just so bland. Uh, talented performers like Jake Gyllenhaal and Anne Hathaway deserve better than this. They really do. This material deserves better than this. Yeah. You know what's funny is that because it, it starts talking about like the the invention of Viagra and coming into the market, like, mm -hmm. and that's I thought it was a pretty funny story. I mean, that's something that you know I I would love to see, maybe in a different format. I mean, I think it'd be a completely different movie. You could easily make a comedy about that, right? I mean, there's a, so a, much a, material a satire on there about the drug industry. Yeah, but to put it into this film that's just teeter totters back and forth of you know uh, unnecessary tears and laughs and you know I just I couldn't. I couldn't and, enjoy it because I was like, you know, I'm not. Uh, should I laugh at that? So, it, yeah, it it has the feel of a film that that no one knew what they had and what they wanted to do with it. Not yeah. e even the cast at times seems a little lost. Yeah, I, you know, and the performances are good when they can pull it out. That's the, that's the sad part about it. I mean, Anne Hathaway's their, their dramatic moments are great, but it's. it's just smashed in this film they get lost very easily yeah and so for that i mean just i i, I walked out going i 
where would you what genre would you put this film in? Is I was everything. So, yeah, it's in the everything category. It's in the back of the video store. Um, I I give it two stars, and it's a low two for how confusing it just makes me feel. Yeah, I, I, for me to be this bored in a film that has Anne Hathaway naked. That really says something. And by the way, for ladies, I should mention that that the filmmakers do try to balance it out. There's That's some the only na- balance there's, they have. There's with some naked Jake Gyllenhaal as well. Uh, <laughs> still, I'm right in the same territory as you are. Two stars. Yeah. I just giant disappointment. It was a big disappointment. What can you do? Thanks a lot. Show her more naked. The Blu-ray will be nice in her boobs. Ha <laughs> ha